welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. I'm still sitting down. I'm feeling, again, slowly better, but I'm not 100%. Um, but I'm gonna do a continuation of the paints that I mixed in the last video. So in the last video, I made, I just dropped things. Um, I made my own pillow paint. And the reason I did that is because I wanted a very light, soft blue. And um, when I tint Sherwin-Williams color to go in a pastel color, they use um, either the deep base or sometimes they use, no, most of the time it's actually, so it's this label. The light blue label is the deep base. The purple label is the ultra deep base. So when we get our dark colors, it's this, and our lighter colors is this. But what happens is, anyways, it becomes very way too thick. So I made my own and I wasn't sure it was gonna work and I wasn't sure how much paint I was gonna have to add, but guess what? Um, I just took some Prussian blue and I didn't even have to add that much to this. And I made this cute color and it's not too thick and I think it should be fine. Um, so there. Now I wouldn't suggest tinting because a few years ago I tried to do like a glidden or something and it took so much paint to tint it. So I'm just, this is the way to go if you want to. I mean, do what you want. I'm just, you know. So my vision is to have a lot of negative space of this blue and to do a watercolor blue situation that I was doing. So in the last video, I mixed up all my colors for you. Um, but let's, so you don't have to watch it if you don't want to, but let's discuss what's happening. This is the test tile of colors. Of course it will look different, but kind of pretty. The part I'm obsessed with is the TLP Glisten, which is like a turquoisey, purpley, blue interference over Holbein Cypress Green. And I don't know if you could see in this light. I wish you could. It, Oh, you'll see in the warm light. It's so pretty. Okay, so let's discuss. I wanted browns. I wanted it very, but it turned into browns and greens. We'll see. Number one, we have sepia, sepia, extra, um, old Holland, which looks like this. I guess I should have opened up my paints for you. Uh, no, that's a piggy. Okay, old Holland. Next, we have TLP cappuccino. Okay, then I have TLP. Is this TLP or is this, this could be Deco Art 24 karat. I think I remember mixing that. Uh, regardless, it's a gold. It could be, I think it's Deco Art because I've been mixing a lot of Deco Art lately because it's been here in my area. Um, next I have TLP. Emerald. Next I have Hobain. I love this color. Cypress green. What are we missing here? Oh, and then we have, no. So this looks pink because the pouring medium I used is different than my regular pouring medium. It will, will not turn out pink. It just looks pink. This is the glisten, which you can't see in here. If you insist on knowing which pouring medium I use for my watercolor blooms, it is this, which you probably cannot get in the States, but you might be able to. Watco Lacquer Color, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's great, it's perfect for two paints. For piggies, for a regular bloom, it's a little thin. So, but I'm really enjoying it. Now, another color I mixed up was this Old Holland Titanium Buff dark because I didn't want too much color and then I made this custom color which you can't see it looks yellow so what's in it I have to mix it up what's in it is a bunch of stuff it started off as this yellow which I mixed and then I added white to it um this was um Try our iridescent medium that I added to diorite yellow to make a gold, and then that didn't work, but then I added zinc white to it. I don't know. Okay, anyways, 
those are the paints. What I'm going to do is I have an 18 inch here and uh, I don't have room to spin an 18 incher where I am right now. So I will be blowing out this 18 incher with my hair dryer today. And then I will be moving it behind this way and I will move the camera that way to spin it out because that's what we got to do. So let me get prepared here. Um, the reason I don't do it on the floor is because I probably shouldn't be like crouching on the floor too much, but that would make my life so much easier. Hmm. Let me decide. I'll be right back. Okay. I've decided to just suck it up, do it on the floor, even if it hurts. <laughs> okay. So the trick here is to not put too much paint as I normally do. I'm going to mix it as I pour it a little bit. Um, because I really want more of a flowy look with a lot of negative space that I don't have to spin too much. So let's see how we're doing. Cause this paint is not as thin as my regular, you know, when I did my watercolor blooms, um, I use the Glidden premium, which is quite a thin paint. This is a bit thicker, so I'm really spreading it out because I really don't want to spin that much at all. So I'm just doing this and I might make like a little line of it underneath my paint to make sure that we have room to blow it out, but I'm just tilting it like this. Okay. And actually it has like this cool uh, marble looking effect right now because I didn't mix it fully. Okay. Yeah, like I don't even want much more than, than this. Okay, hold up, I'm gonna stand for a sec. Whew, okay, step one, done. Um, now let's discuss, I have, I, I'm going to get on my knees. I have the, um, colors laid out the way I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to eliminate the, um, the buff. I don't really need it. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. So we're going to make it look kind of like a Dutch pour in a way. Um, so I will do, you know, move. Okay, it's okay, just lighting. Lighting falling on me. How's that? Let's see. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's hope I don't die. Okay. Now, uh, right. So I'm going to put a little bit. Just oh, I'm gonna mix this up. Um, just so like I I don't blow right into the blue. I want it to have enough room to move when I push it, just mixing, mixing. Okay. So my shape is going to be like this and I'm going to have to try not to put too much, um, color down too, you know, I don't know. All right. So you see that little V action happening. So we're going to start with the brown and I don't want too much brown. So maybe I will drizzle it, you know, because the brown could be a bit much. If I have minimal paints, then that will be better. But you don't want too little paint either, right? That's always the problem. But we're, I'm gonna keep it minimal with the brown because I'm scared of brown. Okay, so let's get that cappuccino down. Okay, cappuccino's always pretty. Cool. I'm going to try not to drip and make a mess. You know, that's hard for me. Um, we get the custom yellow going. I hope this is pretty. I worked really hard on mixing and doing all this crazy stuff. Okay. Pretty. So far, can't be bad. Um, 
They're the emeralds. I'm gonna start up here. Okay. And here. I definitely need a more, well, I guess when I'm feeling better, I'll be more mobile, you know what I mean? Okay, so now we have the cypress green. Oh, so pretty, I love this color. Okay. And on top, I'm definitely putting a bunch of this shimmer. You're not gonna be able to see it now, but trust me, so pretty. And if this doesn't work, we'll try something else. I really hope it does though. Even if it doesn't, can you pretend it does? <laughs> okay, and then I have the deco art. Now I'm not putting a lot of cell activator because again, for my watercolor blooms, it's not cells that we want. I do want a bit of cell activator because I like how it pushes the paints down and it does make them pop out and layer differently, but you don't need that much. If I didn't, it, I think it would be too mushed, but we'll see. Okay, are you ready? I'm gonna start, uh, I guess it's easier to start with this one, right? Okay. Just a little bit. Here we go. Okay, a lot of color blew up on this one. It could be because um, this pillow paint is so much thicker than the other colors. So I'm just gonna be aware of that. But there's some pretty things going on. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit. I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm just gonna do a little bit right in the middle here. Okay. really doing much of anything are we like this is actually pretty this is not as pretty hmm. <laughs> hmm. maybe I should have used my thicker paints if I was gonna use a thicker Hello. Don't be alarmed yet. We're not giving up. Um, because if the colors are really pretty, just not totally what I had in mind. I still have to spin it, so it is going to grow. I'm gonna do one more line and then spin it out. Because that's how I roll. I'm not scared, am I? Okay, I do like the colors. So we're on to something there. Okay, we're gonna do a 
little bit. Okay, I'm the same. And maybe I put too little color, but I don't know. That could be it though. And that's why putting the perfect amount is so important, but sometimes, especially because I don't do these often, I'm just not sure, you know? Okay, let's keep going. Because you know I always put way too much. But I did want something flowy, and this is definitely flowy. Okay. Oops. Well, all right. So, same thing. Now, I'm just going to put a little bit less. Because that could have been my problem, too. Okay. Ready? It's definitely better when I put a little more color. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spin it and then we'll make shapes, okay? Let me just move my paints. I'm not giving up yet. I like the colors. I like the idea. I just have to execute it, which is the hardest part. But, Look at me. What the sparkles out of this world. Okay? Just so you know. I think it's really pretty. Definitely not my style. Don't be upset that it doesn't look like a regular bloom. It's really flowy, but I kind of like it. We'll just have to make sure the composition looks good because I know the sparkles are looking really pretty. Um, okay, let's see how much. Paint. Okay, we got some paint left. See, I still put on too much paint. I'm so scared. Um, the, I love this bottom part. Okay, let's try to get some of this off this way here. You know what? I'm not, don't hate me, but I kind of like it. I'm gonna see what other sizes we have, a smaller size. And I'll try to do like something else, but. Okay, so now I'm looking at the composition. Originally, I thought, I'll just show you. I thought the composition would be like this. And let's see if I'm correct. I think we're gonna work with, yes. I think we're gonna work with the composition like this, okay? So. I'm just gonna stand. Ooh, and I'm gonna change my gloves just so I don't drip. You know what? This is pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a popsicle, <sighs> a popsicle stick, and start like just shaping it the way I want to. It's really pretty. I think. I hope you guys agree. Anyways, okay. I need to just lie down after this one. Okay. I have my popsicle stick. Okay, I really love this bottom. I love this flowy part here. So what's throwing me off a little bit is this area here. So if I'm looking at it this way, I don't wanna to do too much, but pretty. Um, just want to like it's a little globuly here okay definitely very like um 
abstract you know you guys don't hate this because I'm really enjoying it. Definitely different than what I normally do, which is always a bonus sometimes, you know? Sometimes nice to switch it up a bit. Okay. Let me look at it from afar. Listen, it's different. It's kind of cool. Um, very flowy. Okay, I'm gonna do a close up of the sparkles and I'm gonna try it in this light and I'll try to figure out how to do it in the um, warm light so you can see. And then we'll go on to the next bloom. Be right back. Okay, I'm back to my regular station. I'm pretty pleased with myself. This is a 14 incher. For this one, I'm gonna do like the same as I did in my last watercolor bloom video and just do like one little bloom. Learning from my mistakes of, again, not putting too much paint. I don't wanna have to spin it, even though this is like quite thick, so I'm gonna have to really thin it out. And um, I'm, again, I want something really like small and delicate and i'm going to use the rest of this because i have just enough so if i if it doesn't work then oh well for us you know what i mean <laughs> no pressure see this is i would prefer if this were a bit thinner um kind of gloopy you know what i mean but whatever get it all out Let's see if there's enough. And if there should be enough, but yeah. if not, I can put a, some other paint around the edges. I do actually like this look of, cause it does look marbled a little bit cause I didn't mix it all the way through. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm really getting it all the way to the sides. I don't want to spin too much. But I do want to have enough for the blowout. So again, it's a delicate balance. See, I still might have a little too much already. Yeah. See, there's quite a bit here. So you could, if you wanted, thin it a, with a bit of US Floatrol if you want. Um, I don't like to mess with it too much yeah that should be good um because you know then you start risking a lot of different stuff okay here you go you see the marbled look it's kind of fun okay it's nice to be able to sit down and do this though um let us begin i just want to make sure i have my hair dryer here which i do so the goal we're gonna do a small bloom with two blows so I'll probably just do a line a little line because I really want it tiny okay this is where small amount of paint is important okay tiny Lisa Marvin uh, like really 
Dainty and tiny are the words of the day, okay? I wanna make sure to move my paints so they don't get dirty. Okay, so that was the sepia. Here's cappuccino. Like, see, I'm going so very dainty. Here's my custom yellow. Okay. But again, if you put too little, all you're gonna see is the blue, so you have to have that perfect balance. Um, here's this one, emerald. <laughs> Here is Cypress Green. I love Cypress Green. I love that shimmer right on top. All right. And um, here's my deco art for fun, right? Okay. Also, my cell activator is my normal thickness, which also could be causing problems, but I don't want it too thin, you know what I mean? Whatever, let's do a little, little. Okay, here we go. shape and I think I achieved that. I'm gonna blow out some of that white. Just delicately, you know. Making cute shapes. I think she's very cute and dainty. Okay. I really like her. Now, I might want to make a little stem, but I'm not going to do anything yet until she spun out the sparkle, which you can't see, but it's on point. Okay. Let's see what happens when we spin her out. God, that shimmer. I love it. Could be, it's not, it's so hard to choose a favorite interference, but it's really pretty. Okay, yep. So dainty delicious. So I'm gonna take my popsicle stick. So let's see how much more we have to spin her. A little bit, but I can start um, just like, just the suggestion, you know what I mean? Yep. We have a little buble. We're gonna poke it out. Poke it out. Poke it out. Poke it out. So I wasn't sure about this color combo, but I'm kind of liking it, and I am really liking the marbled situation. That's happening. Um, I think it's very like abstract. Definitely, you know how I love actual flowers, like turning my blooms into actual flowers. I think she's cute. I'll give her one more spin. Okay, guys, that's the video. I'm feeling good. I hope you guys liked it. It's like, again, totally different, but like 
all the sparkle and the gorgeousness of the color and the gorgeousness of the daintiness. I'm here for it. Okay, let me know what you guys think. Next video, um, I'm comparing, because I've already mixed up my paints, I'm comparing tri cell activator, mm -hmm, cell activator to Amsterdam cell activator. So be sure to get those notifications going if you're interested. Okay, love you guys, bye-bye.